So I have these two photos. On the left is a photo that was taken by a phone called Nokia 7650 and that's essentially the first Nokia phone that comes with a camera. It was from 2002 and that's why the quality wasn't so great. And the next photo is actually still the same photo except this one was actually upscaled by an AI tool called Topaz Labs Gigapixel. So as you can see, there is some improvement over the original photo. It looks a bit more detailed and overall it's definitely a lot better. But the improvement is so subtle and maybe you have to look very very closely to, to be able to distinguish the differences between the original and the upscaled photo. And then there is this variation that was created by Gemini AI. This is the original and this is the one that has been recreated or enhanced or maybe upscaled by Gemini AI. Now in this video, I will show you how you can upscale a photo, basically any low quality photo using the nano banana feature from Gemini. But technically, I have to clarify that it is not really upscaling because Gemini is not designed for upscaling a photo. But maybe you can call it upscaling because if you have a photo that is less than 2K, which is the maximum resolution of Gemini, you can call it upscaling because the output picture is having a much higher quality or much higher resolution than the original photo. And let me show you the prompt that you can use to enhance the look of an any low quality photo. So let's navigate to Gemini and you can also use the mobile app version of Gemini. And after that, you can click this plus button click Apple files and then select the photo that you want to modify. Now in this case, I will use a photo that was taken by the same phone, Nokia 7650. And this is, I believe, a an Apple juice product. I'm going to just copy the picture and let's paste that into Gemini. So this is the prompt that you can use. There is the subtle improvement. It's basically trying to maintain the original look of the picture but it will correct a few things like the lighting shadow the details and some other things but this one is going to give you a massive improvement over the original photo and that's actually the prompt that i use to create uh, this particular picture so it's up to you which one that you want to use but for this demonstration i'll try to start using the subtle improvement so i'm going to copy this and let's paste that into gemini and then click tools, click create images and send the message. So this process will take about 20 to 30 seconds most of the times and you can immediately see the result. And by the way, the aspect ratio of the picture will be the same as in the original photo. Not exactly the same, but very close because we cannot expect Gemini to create the exact same resolution or the exact same aspect ratio, but it's going to be very, very close. So this is the result. It's very very subtle and maybe you have to look very very closely to see the differences between the original and the one that has been improved by Gemini and of course you can also create an app which is this one that I created with Gemini that allows me to compare the differences between one photo with another anyway I guess I'm going to just duplicate this page so we can kind of see the differences between that picture, the original one versus the one that has been improved by Gemini. So let me just, I guess I'm going to download this picture and I'll also download this original picture. Okay, it was HTML for some reason. Oh, okay, I, that's very interesting. Uh, let me just go back. Let's go back here and I'm going to set a picture from here. Okay, there you go. So let me just compare those two pictures. Uh, this is the original, obviously. And this is the one that has been enhanced by Gemini. Okay, yeah, you can tell that it's this one is a bit sharper than the original picture. And there's also this slider that allows me to compare the differences between these two pictures yeah i can tell that it was much better than the actual picture now let's do it again but this time around we are going to use a different prompt we are going to use the second prompt which is uh, going to be more massive let's go to gemini and for this demonstration let me try using this awful looking photo basically you cannot tell or you can recognize the person in this photo and you'll see that even that Gemini can still fix this photo. Let me just copy, paste that and use this prompt, massive improvement. And by the way, the prompt should be available in the video description down below. Click tools and then click create images. Now, even though I do really like using this prompt, 
there is one big caveat that you need to know. So previously I was using this prompt and I'm trying to recover this photo, which I think a lot of you will know that this is a picture of Obama. But if you are using this prompt to reimagine the picture uh, using Gemini, then you'll get this result. It's kind of close, but it's not going to be able to exactly determine the actual face of the person. So it's really just AI trying to guess the face or the content or the picture. It's not going to be perfect, but in some cases, it is still very, very useful. Now let's go back again and let's take a look at the result. There you go. So this is definitely a lot better than this picture. You can even tell the expression that this person made, but on the Gemini version, sorry, this one is definitely a lot more clear and I would say it was something that could be taken by a smartphone that was, you know, maybe a few years ago. So it was pretty good. And I think it is a neat trick that you can use on Gemini to upscale or maybe to enhance any low quality photo. So that's basically one amazing trick that you can do with the Nano Banana feature from Gemini AI. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you a great day ahead.